Hey guys, it's me Soda. Welcome to another video. Sorry about my birds. <laughs> First of all, I'm sorry I look like this. I just had a shower um, and then I received this package so I need to open it as soon as possible. So yeah, my hair is still wet. But we have a package. And in this package, we have tadpoles. And I can feel that there's water in here just by holding the box. So I'm being very gentle with it. Thank you, Tofu. And here we have 10 bellfrog tadpoles, green and golden bellfrog. And I'm very excited. I haven't raised tadpoles in a long time, but I have done it a few times. Um, I did it when I was a kid because I love frogs. My parents prized me with some tadpoles one day and it was such a cool experience. And I've been really wanting to do it again with bell frogs because I've only actually done it with uh, tree frogs, brown tree frogs, which are these little tiny brown frogs you can get here. Uh, well, they're actually native to Australia, but you can get them here in New Zealand. Same with these bell frogs. Um, they are native to Australia, but you can get them here. And these frogs are quite big. The tadpoles are usually quite big as well. Um, and I already have bell frogs in somewhere in my terrarium behind me. I really want to get them some more friends, but it's really hard to actually find people selling adult bell frogs. So I thought I have a spare tank where I can raise some frogs. So why not just get some tadpoles or raise them from tadpoles and then once they're big enough they can go in here with my other frog. Now you do have to wait until they are the same size because frogs will try to eat anything that moves that they can fit in their mouth including other frogs. So it will be a little while until they can go in there. Um, but these frogs from my experience do grow pretty fast. Um, I'm just gonna open them up and hopefully they're all okay. They were delivered overnight. Um, so if you don't know, because I feel like I always will get comments about shipping animals, because a lot of people don't know that it is actually a very normal thing. Um, that's how pets end up in pet stores. They get shipped from around the world. And if it's done properly, you'll have no issues. Usually it's just overnight, so they're only in a box for like less than a day. And they usually are kept in a dark area to reduce stress and they don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I've had uh, newts shipped before to me with no problem, some baby newts. Um, but I have not had tadpoles, so I'm interested to see how they will be shipped. Cardboard is breathable by the way, that's why there's no holes. Same with paper, paper's breathable. Oh, they're so tiny! Oh my god, I didn't know they'd be this young. Oh! They're so tiny! Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I might have counted wrong. Oh, you're so tiny! You might be too small to actually go in the tank that I have set up. <laughs> they're actually a lot younger than I thought they were gonna be. Can you see them? They're so tiny! Oh my god! They're so active too. They don't even know that they were just shipped across cities. They didn't actually come far away either. Like, it didn't come from across the country. It just was a different city from me. Oh my god, they're so tiny! Tiny babies! You can barely even see them on the camera. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god, I haven't had tadpoles in so long. And I know these tadpoles, they get quite big. So I thought they were going to be, like, already kind of big. But they're little tiny babies, which is kind of more exciting. Because that means we can watch them get bigger and grow their legs and stuff. Um, so I actually might do what I do with my newts and keep them in a container um, for a bit. Um, I'll show you guys the tank I have set up for them, though. But I just feel like I wouldn't be able to keep an eye on them. Because of how small they are. Oh my god, they're so cute though. I just love tadpoles and I haven't had any in a while. And I haven't seen any in a while actually. But it is tadpole season here in my country, which in case you're wondering why I have tadpoles right now. It's spring, almost summer here in New Zealand. So it is tadpole season here. But I know for a lot of you guys it's like almost winter. So it's like not tadpole season at all. So I'm going to have a little change of plans and... Find a container, I think, because they're just a bit too small to go in the tank I have. I also um, want to go out and get some oxygen weed today because um, I find that oxygen weed is one of the best things you can feed them with their tadpoles, in my opinion. Um, as well as like like boiled spinach and boiled lettuce, I think um, people do as well. So this is a tank that I have set up for them. It doesn't have much in here. Obviously, I'll be putting some plants in here and stuff. 
um, but I think this is actually too big for them right now and I'm gonna lose them and not be able to keep an eye on them and make sure they're eating and stuff so I'm not gonna use this yet but th that's my plan um, I have this lid that I made for it too so they can stay in here when they're um, frogs before they're big enough to go in the terrarium but yeah we're not going to use that yet until they're bigger all right so this is the container i'm going to use just temporarily until they're bigger that way i can keep an eye on them easy make sure they're all eating make sure they're all healthy all that kind of stuff i might hook up a airline tube to it so there's like more oxygen in the water but i'm also probably going to be like just changing the water daily that's what i did for my um, newts and that seemed to work very well I didn't have any issues with them so that's the thing if you are going to keep them in a container like with no filtration and stuff you do have to be changing the water every single day um, that way no ammonia builds up or anything like that um, I also always use prime dechlorinator to add to my water I put in some duckweed in there just I have some duckweed in some of my like, like my axolotl tank and stuff um, which they'll probably eat so that will be good for them. So let's get them out of this bag. I feel that like from my experience, tadpoles are pretty easy to raise. They're usually quite hardy, but I do see a lot of people struggle with um, keeping the water clean. I think that's just because people don't use filters and don't change the water enough. Um, like I see people get like bacteria infections really easy on tadpoles. Just a lot of people feed them too much and don't clean the tank enough. It's what I see a lot anyway with people raising tadpoles. I mean it is normal to lose a few though like hopefully we won't lose any but a lot of tadpoles don't make it to um frogs. Okay I'm doing this like the really slow way. Oh my god they're so cute! Because this water is full of their poop right now so we don't really want to get that in here they want some nice fresh water okay i've counted them multiple times and i'm pretty sure there's nine not ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. yeah there's only nine right i did pay for ten but maybe they just forgot one all right i picked up some oxygen weed you can get this at like pet stores and stuff it's really cheap as well this is quite a lot for these guys i just put a little bit in for now and hopefully they will like it. I put in some fish food too, but they seem to be liking. They're already, that one's already eating some of it. This is just some of um, one of these Nova tabs. I just kind of crushed it up so it was smaller for them. They're digging in. Yeah, I think they uh, like the fish food <laughs> more than the oxygen weed I got them. <laughs> well, at least they have options. I've heard um, they really like cucumber as well, but fish food is high in protein, so it's also good. I wonder if they like algae wafers. I feel like that would be a good idea. that one is. I wonder if there was a tenth one that was like smaller than this and just got like eaten by the others. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Okay when I was at the pet store I may have found something for Toby. He's looking at his toy but Toby what have I got for you? What have I got for you? You ready? I'm hiding it behind my back. You ready? What's this? What's this? It's a bunny with a Santa hat. Do you like it, Toby? It squeaks as well. It makes a funny honk. Can I honk it? Okay. <laughs> oh, he's trying to squeeze it. He loves it when toys have little squeaky things. He's trying to, he's trying to do it. 
Did you find it? So I think that's all for this video, but I do plan to make a part two, kind of like what I did with the newts. I will be filming them throughout their growing process and then part two will be probably when they've turned into frogs. Don't know when that will be because they are obviously quite young, but I cannot wait. Yeah, you can check out my newt video if you want because I'm going to be doing the same thing I did with them, like changing the water every day. I'm going to be doing that same like method because I do feel like that method gives you the best results like health wise. Um, so yeah, definitely going to be doing that. And yeah, oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're tiny little mouths. <laughs> Oh, I could just watch them, like, forever. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!